about the marine terrestrial interactions course is that marine terrestrial interactions, they're happening all around you. You go to the beach, you go and swim, that's a marine terrestrial interaction. You go, you fish, you eat some salmon, that is a marine terrestrial interaction. That fish goes in the dump, still a marine terrestrial interaction. That's nutrients in the dump. Who knows what that could be doing? They could be growing fungus, they could be growing bacteria, they could be growing absolutely anything. And you know what? It's not just about growing organisms in this course, it's about growing your dreams and growing your friendships. <laughs> After the course, we uh, broke into our groups and we were able to do our own ind independent research in the field and that was really cool, being able to go out um, to different areas around BMSC and sample the local communities. The course is so broad that all of our projects are really broad too. One person's uh, examining waterfalls. Waterfalls, murelets. Murelets, birds, plankton, all kinds of in weather. Um, My favorite part about MTI 2018 was the camping trips. The opportunity to go into the field with a group of awesome people. So the Marine Terrestrial Interaction course at Banfield Marine Science Center is for me really about looking at relationships between physical processes and the biology of different ecosystems. So we've spent a lot of time outdoors collecting our own data. The students will collect their own data, analyze their own questions, and have a finalized report. So we've spent a lot of time in forests, camping, working in streams, working in estuaries. <laughs> We spent the first two weeks kind of looking at more of the terrestrial side of things. We went to Carvana and camped for four days. And then we came back and went and kind of launched ourselves into the intertidal and into the marine system. So we spent two, uh, another about five days camping on Fleming Island, where we looked at kind of intertidal effects and more abiotic drivers, um, these patterns that we see that might kind of shape and influence these biotic interactions that we're looking at. The students did everything from collecting crabs, in the intertidal and along Grappler Bay and um, Banfield Inlet. And then we also went out and did wave exposure measurements. We went and looked at marble murelet abundance and locations around some of the islands in relation to plankton biomass. And we did all sorts of other really cool projects. 